Howdy boys, it's NPC, and today we're going to be customizing the Enus Paragon S, which was just added as part of the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC. Um, it looks pretty damn cool, it's supposed to be our new Bentley, and uh, if you're new here, be sure to drop a like if you enjoy it, and sub if you're new. We're going for 15k in 24 hours, I think it's so doable. We are like a thousand off, and it's we're so close, we're so close. So sub if you're new, and let us customize the car. Um, for the the reason we're customizing this one in the reason we're customizing this one in the agency is because as a money tech as you can see by the armor plating um this one and the the Balakan and vision that's the other one the really futuristic looking one those are the two new vehicles with the money tech um i've already got a customization out on that so make sure to check that out if you have not we'll see if we want the armor plating on this one um you know what why not let's throw it on it's not that intrusive it's just door plating it's not that bad we will upgrade the car to the maximum and then for the exhaust i actually love oh my god that is bright that is super bright and um i don't know if i like i don't like having one of the boxes empty i feel like there's two exhaust slots and i want to make both of those used so maybe we just go with the twin exhaust like the titanium tip bore exhaust is pretty cool but it's only in one side so um, I think we're just gonna go with these ones for now. It's pretty pretty clean looking For the grill that is a <laughs> that's something to look at for sure the chrome hexagon mesh is crazy This one actually looks pretty uh, This one actually looks pretty clean the chrome wire mesh. So let's go with that and then oh my god There's so many there's so many. Oh, is this just on the bottom? It's just on the bottom, huh? I want it to match so Maybe let's go with the let's go with the, the crazy one, the chrome tight wire mesh. I like it. I like it. Next for our hood, um what's something clean we can do? Carbon hood is it's so so. I'm not gonna say it's the best carbon hood of all time, but at least they tried, you know, at least it connects up here. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. What is this little triangular piece? <laughs> it's just missing from the carbon. Okay. That's not very cool. Um for the our hood options though, I kind of like these very symmetrical um and i also i also don't mind the race hood but i don't like those vents or the little hood latches so i think i'm gonna go with this one the sport vented hood for our horn of course we're gonna stop on our truck horn and then for the imani tech we're gonna put the missile lock on jammer lights zine on those for the neon kits we might add one of those it's not too overbearing worst case we can leave it white and it does give us a handling bonus so um, we'll just leave that for now what is this the black stripe it's like a crumbling line that's kind of cool very artistic um we've got white geometry this is just black in the front this is the same thing but in white none of the liveries look very good so i think we're gonna skip out on a, a livery this time for the mirrors i like the primary mirrors as well since they they like cut in half i think i like the color diversity um and then we're gonna throw in a slick mine of course nice and for our rear diffuser um is there uh, oh oh wow oh wow these are pretty extreme oh my god the race diffuser is kind of cool, although it sticks out from the car a lot. I just feel like it looks a little odd. So maybe we'll just go with like the, just a carbon low diffuser. I think that looks fine. And then for our respray, um, a green is a nice Bentley color. I always like Bentleys in green. I don't know about this one. Oh, the orange does look pretty cool as well. I'm also thinking brown. Brown could look crazy. Maple brown, dude. We just kind of like landed on that, but it looks super clean. Um, and then we can do that in maybe some kind of uh, a slightly more vibrant pearlescent, a brighter brown, like a cream almost, or we can give it like an orange. That's that's the other thing I was thinking. That's pretty cool. The orange is pretty cool. Sunrise orange. I think I like the sunrise orange. Now for a secondary color, that changes the stitching it looks like, and maybe we can sort of match that a little bit, give it a gold or maybe we can give it a brown, even a white. White's got a nice highlight to it, but um, for a brown, brown doesn't actually match that much. We can do bleached brown. You can't really see anything else that well. Maybe sienna brown. You can see the stitching a little bit if you look closely, and I think it's it's a cool little detail. Um, now for the actual interior of the vehicle, we could go for some sort of red, but I feel like red and orange together are a little awkward. So maybe we go for a brown as well. Beechwood brown, maybe bison brown. How does bison brown look? Bison brown's pretty cool. Beechwood brown, I think looks a little nicer though. It's a little more orangey. So we're gonna go for those. Now for our skirts, we've got inset skirts. Um, we've got carbon skirts. I feel like I almost don't wanna go for the carbon. I feel like we should change the carbon on the back 
and make it something that looks a little like cleaner. Okay, I see. Now the secondary color is, it's kind of making a difference. <laughs> um, those get pretty big. I like the inset skirts because it looks like it's just the black, but it's got like a really nice shade from the pearlescent on it. So maybe we just do the inset skirts. And then for the rear diffuser, we can just change it to the low diffuser instead of the carbon low diffuser. Now for our splitter on the front end, it doesn't have fins on the side, which I am a fan of. I like that. That's cool. Um, we've got a more aggressive race rake splitter. That's what it's called. Okay. That's pretty unique. I'm actually a fan. I'm actually a fan of a lot of these splitter options. This one's a little a little wild with the uh, the carbon placing, but that's okay. We don't necessarily have to pick it. I actually want to try my hand at doing maybe just like secondary options for everything. Maybe secondary inset skirts and then a secondary rear diffuser, a low diffuser, and then we can change the uh, the color, maybe make it some sort of brown, like two-tone it a little bit. Filter brown, or it doesn't have to be like super far off. Maybe something darker, chocolate brown. I think chocolate brown is, is really nice. Chocolate brown is cool. This is cool. Now for our spoilers, we've got a lip spoiler, a little little bit of a gap in the back. I'm not a huge fan of that, to be honest. That is a cool spoiler, the sports wing. It's very small. I like it though. I think it's very unique. It's I don't know if any other cars have that kind of spoiler, but it looks it looks cool. I like it. Um, a lot of cars from this DLC also have like insane ginormous spoilers, which we're not trying to go for. So we're gonna go for that uh, sports spoiler. Uh, sunstrip we will skip out on suspension we're gonna drop that down that looks really nice transmission max out turbo tuned and then for our wheels we uh could go with the concave mega mesh i think that's always a very nice like bentley rim this is also really nice the concave racers dash vips just some kind of like luxury looking rim even split tents i wonder if um how those would look let's see if we can find them there we go, there's the split 10. I think it looks pretty sick, if you ask me. That being said, I want a colored rim. I just think there's a lot that you can do to this car, like color-wise. I think we've got something really nice going, so maybe we'll just go for, um, I'm leaning towards concave racers. We could also do deep flake reverse, let's just see. Um, I wanna change the rim color first, maybe do like a brown trifecta. Dark brown on the wheels looks pretty damn cool, if you ask me. And then let's just compare really quick to the dash VIPs. Oh, we could also try like the mesh rims, modern mesh. The Forge Star looks really nice as well. Oh, I actually really like the Forge Star. I think that fits quite well. So uh, let's go for that. And next we can bulletproof the tires and then we will limo tint the windows. And I think that should be everything. That is everything indeed. Um, it actually looks super good without the armor plating. I especially like the back end. The front end's a little bulky for my taste, but overall looks pretty good. And let's take it out and see it in better lighting, hopefully, if the sun is out. And um, we'll see how good it is on the road as well. Of course, first, we got to do a little sound test. So here we go. Wow, it sounds nice. You can really hear the turbo in this car. It, I like it. I like it. Visually, the car looks awesome. Uh, performance wise I am super impressed this thing is a beast it's fast it's it feels pretty damn fast to me and it turns well it felt a little bit understeery um, it almost like slides a little bit the back end slides but it's got weight the grip is very good like like the car feels like it's propelling itself forward which is a good thing you know you don't want your cars to like drag their feet but yeah i'm very impressed the acceleration as well was pretty nice um here it is off the line and it's it's not like the craziest thing i think most of it is probably going to be most of its performance ability is going to be in the cornering and the top speed because it's nice man this thing's moving uh, <laughs> i say as we crash into a tree um the only thing i noticed a little bit is like when you're getting when you're accelerating the car can like get stuck a little bit like i don't know how to describe it um it's harder to turn it's harder to turn it's it feels very stiff when you're moving at a higher speed but it's still like relatively like it turns you guys are are literally seeing it on the you're seeing it turn on screen right now but it's just like it feels like you have to hold down really hard on the the arrow keys or d-pads whatever you're going to be using it just feels stiff 
you guys are gonna have to try it for yourselves i do recommend um of all the cars that you could buy that this is probably one of the better ones to buy like we are moving right now that is a fast car it's got a money tech um and it is only two million dollars not a super hefty price tag so i would say that it is worth your money anyways be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoy comment down below let me know what you think about this car what cars you guys are buying sub if you're new we're going for 15k by tomorrow and i think we can hit it so um Hopefully I see you guys in more videos. I'm going to be covering as much of the DLC as I can while I can stay awake. And that's about it. Until next time, take care. Peace.